In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a rainbow chart in Power BI using chart calculator. So the same visual we are going to create. Here I'm going to show city and revenue and the highest revenue city will be on the top and lowest revenue city will be in the down and accordingly the sorting can be done. Let me add a new page and then you need to add the chart calculator just go to the ellipsis, get more visuals, get more visuals and search for chart calculator and add it. And then once you add it, it will be part of your visuals separately. Now I'm selecting this. So in this, I need to first add the data. So in the data, I'm adding city. And then in the same place, adding total revenue. Then I need to go to the chart and top of the chart for more options, ellipsis. Edit. And then I can create a chart. So the glyph is there and you have layers and then you have attributes. So you need to make use of them. So in the glyph, I'm adding the marks. You have three types of marks. One is rectangle, ellipse and triangle. I'm selecting ellipse and then drag and drop into the glyph. Now I need to make this as a circular. So for that I need to go to the scaffolds and select the polar. Drag drop into the chart so that it will give you a kind of polar uh, view, circular view. But now this I want to be like a rainbow. See how simple and easy it is for that I need to go to the plot segment because in the layers you have one plot segment and one shape shape is nothing but this uh, ellipse and in the plot segment I need to select the plot segment and go to attributes there you have an option to create the sub layout currently the sub layout is like a stack angular where you need to select stack radial so it is coming like this. So I need to just change the angle. So let me change the angle. And the rainbow is ready. Now I need to select the shape, the shape, width or height, anything you can select. So I'm just uh, adding the total revenue on the height so that the height will be appearing and the shape fill is currently a general fill like blue I want to add the fill based on the city so let me drag drop into the city so that I have different colors now I need to have uh, the text and as well as the number because which city it is and what value it is go to glyph and then add the text just drag drop on top of it so you can make it a little bigger so that you can see what exactly is happening. Keep that text on top of it and keep it a little left. And then this text has to be the city. So let me go to the layers and select the text one in the attributes where the in the general section you have text there I need to drag drop the city. It shows which city it is. I need to add another text. So let me go to the glyph again, add drag drop another text and bring the text on top of that uh, shape and drag right and then go to the layers again. In the layers select text to in the attributes the text will be now total revenue. But the total revenue is a very big number because it has uh, millions. So it's coming the absolute number. I don't want absolute number. So in the text, there is one formula created. So where the total revenue is there divided by 1 million and automatically the number now turned into a smaller number. Now I need to change this uh, visual little. So let me hide this and then let me go to the uh, plot segment. So let me make auto alignment so that the picture will be bigger now and height to area so that it comes based on that if I don't do also it is fine for me and then 
there is an option to sort the data so what is the order based on the revenue and whether it is an ascending order or descending order currently it is in a descending order it is fine because the highest one i want to keep on the top so delhi is 121 million and kolkata is 103 million fine accordingly the data is uh, set but i need to rotate this uh, uh, labels because they are not uh, coming in a proper order they are little getting overlapped on the data i mean on the that rainbow uh, that bow so let me select text one and in the attributes if i scroll down little there is an option rotation so i need to rotate it so i'm rotating like uh, four degrees kind of so that is getting adjusted to the text i mean to the that uh, particular rain, uh, rainbow and the next one i need to select text to the same way i need to rotate it but in a reverse order so it should be like this so like uh, yeah so now it's almost good and that is all now i need to click on the save button and then back to the report and just bring it little larger shape and then you can see the numbers now i can add any other uh, slicers for example i'll add a slicer so go to the slicer and in this slicer i would like to add the year from the date table so let me add year let it be a list and then if i select 17 it is showing 17 numbers 18 sorry 18 19 20 and if i select 22 the numbers are less because uh, in 22 there is no much data and accordingly the data is showing up the right value not only that you can now select any other slicer and add more uh, parameters for example I'll add department into it now if I select admin and accordingly the data is uh, showing up and you can even add the legend and other things I will be discussing about it in the next video where I'll show you mushroom uh, chart that is I think uh, I kept here so this chart I'm going to discuss in the next video so please do subscribe and please like this video share with many and click on the bell button so that you will get a notification the moment I add a new video thank you very much